Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Proknevsky here, and welcome to tip number 68. In today's daily tip, we're going to talk about how to access JSON files using only expressions and After Effects. However, before you watch this daily tip, I highly recommend that you watch yesterday's daily tip and the one before that. So that's tip number 66 and tip number 67. I'll be sure to include the links at the bottom of this video. All right, so in this example, we're gonna talk about how we can access JSON files using only expressions. In other words, I'm gonna show you how to access JSON files using a method called data value. And you can use the same method to access other text documents, things like TSV, CSV. However, we're not gonna focus on that. We're only gonna focus on JSON files. And for this example, I have this JSON file that I created and it has three teams. So we have team one and it has three players. Team two has three players as well. Team three has three players. However, we also have this object in here, and this object called subs has other players, two more. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to access this name property right here? In other words, I want inside After Effects to get this Mike James name. How would I do that? Let me show you. But before we do that, actually, let me kind of explain how it works. So. Think of it like this, it works with stages. You start at the very top, it's kind of like walking into the house. You start at the front door, then you open the door, and then you go into the hallway or whatever, then you open another door, and then another door, and that's how you get to a room or a restroom and things of that nature. Well, in the same way, that's how we access a JSON file using data value method. So we stop or start at the very top, and we have three choices, right? So stage one, we have three choices. And the first choice, in other words, we're gonna use index values to access them. We're gonna to point to the number instead of the name. So we start at the very top, it's gonna to be index zero. So zero, one, two. You would think it would start at the very top with one, however, it starts with zero. So zero, one, two. So we wanna go into here because Mike James lives in team three. So I'm gonna say index two, so zero, one, two. So for stage one, we decided that it's gonna be index two. All right, so we, we're done with stage one. Now we move on to the second stage. So now we are at the second stage and we have four elements to choose from. So again, we use index. So we point to which index. We're gonna go into subs because he lives in subs. So we're gonna say index zero, one, two, three. So stage two is index three. And then we go into that. And then we have, actually before we get to this stage, we have to make a decision here. Right now we only have one property or one object, but our object holds two more players. However, we have to make a decision here which door we wanna go into, right? So, but we only have one door, so we have to say zero. So stage three would be zero. And now we are at this stage. So stage four would be e either zero or one. We do know that Mike James is in this stage, so it's gonna be index one. And now that we are pointing to this, we have to pick which property we want, either name, position, or number. And in the same way, so now we're stage five, in the same way we have to point to the index of that. So is it index zero, index one, or index two? It's gonna be index zero. And that's how we get Mike James. I do realize that my last example wasn't the best one. So let me show you what that looks like in After Effects. I have the exact same JSON file already in my After Effects, and I'm going to bring that into my composition by clicking and dragging and dropping into my timeline. And in here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna count uh, index and then stages. So stage one, we're gonna make a decision. Which door do we wanna go into? We have three elements to choose from, so we're gonna go to the very last one. So that's gonna be index zero, one, two. So, so stage one is index two. And I'm gonna take notes this time. So I'm gonna say stage one is two. Okay. Now we are moving on to stage two. And in here we have other options. So we have to choose one of these out of these four. So we're gonna go with the very last one. That's gonna be index three. So zero, one, two, three. So stage two is gonna be three. Okay. Now we're gonna go to this very last one. So now we are in stage three. And in here, we only have one option. So that's gonna be by default index zero. Okay. All right, now we are inside of the subs and we have two more options to choose from. So index zero or index one. We wanna go with index one because that's where Mike James lives. So we're gonna say stage four, you're gonna be one. And then 
at stage four, we have properties to choose from. And we want a property, name property. So we want the name of the player. So I'm going to say index zero because zero, one, two. So that's going to be zero. So the very last stage is zero. And that's how we would arrive at this name property. So let's plug that in into data value method. And before we do that, I'm going to put square brackets around these because this is an array. So I'm going to highlight this, copy it, and let's get rid of this JSON file. And now we're going to use this text. I'm going to alt click on stopwatch to create an expression. And I'm going to pick whip to this JSON file in our project panel. So now we have this JSON file and we're going to go into a property, obviously Mike James. So we're going to point to it using a method called data value. Now you can type it out this way or let me undo this, or you can just say period and then go here and go to footage and then just click on it here. Now inside here, we have to determine the path of our property and we already have our path in here. So we're going to paste that in here. And just, just so you know, you have to have square brackets. Just make sure you put that path inside of this method using square brackets. When you click away now, you can see that it gives us Mike James. All right, well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button and also share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell button. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.